Hello everyone, welcome to Novo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new Stardust tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create 3D laser scan animation and it'll be After Effects using Stardust. So create your composition and let's get started. So after creating your composition and apply Stardust to your layer, as you see here, I have another layer and this is actually elements using masks to create it that we're going to use on Stardust. So let's go back to Stardust here and delete these nodes. And then I'm going to add a mall node here. And then on mall source, I'm going to choose text and mask and then assign these mask layer. So we're going to have something like this and let's create a new camera. So we can see these on 3D and then add few lights here. So plant lights and then add ambient lights. And let's duplicate these plant light here, put it behind the objects. So we're going to have something like this. And this model is have some extrude properties that we're going to look at it later. So we want to create the wireframe for this. So to create this, we need emitter node and a particle node. Let's connect these together. And on emitter, let's rename these to edges just to organize things. And for these particles, particles, edges, particles. So here we have these types. So we're going to choose here objects. And then here we need to make sure this is set to edges. And for now, we want these particles or the edges to be on these model. So we will see that these particles just champ where these model located. So we need to zero out the speed for the emitter. So now you can see how this looks, but this is doesn't look like uh, edges. So we need to create the edge. So we need actually a model here and let's rename these model to edge model. And we need to connect these to this particle. And here we're going to choose a model and let's give life to 10 seconds. And as you see, those particles change to these cubes. And so here we have these primitives so we can choose here actually cylinder and let's put these 100 and you can see we got something like this and let's go back to these particles and set here just one so we have something like this but the orientation is wrong so we need to fix this and we need to go to this model and here we have model property and for this to looks right we need to orient these on the x axis by 90 degree and so it is going to be fixed but we still have few problems so here on edges we need first to inherit size and actually we need also to emit just once and here, as you see, we got something like this. We need to zero out these subdivide here. Just put zero there. But we still have another problem here. As you see, it still need few things to be fixed. And the problem here is on these rotation property on the particle, each particle. So we need to orient that to normal and then it's going to fix this for us. And here we have another problem and it's flipped so we can uncheck this and it's going to fix the problem here. So as you see, we got these as it should looks like. So what I'm going to do here, maybe just a few things. So maybe here, um, we need to go to the mall actually here. And then here we have this bevel. We need to zero out these because we don't need it. We don't need these depth. So I'm going to zero out all of it. And here we have the path samples so we can have more 
samples there. So I'm going to put there 10. And here we have the extrude segment, so we can have more, as you see here, let's put these two left side so you can see here, this is just one, and this is six, so we have more, and here you can see we have more uh, segments there as well, so maybe just six there, to something like this. And so as you see now, we got our structure here, and you may notice here we don't have few uh, segments and we can fix that actually by just going to these masks here and then just add a few masks here and it's going to fix the problem here. So just control D to duplicate these. The more we are added, the more it's going to create more details of the wireframe there. So as you see now, we have more structures here. And so now we need to create the vertices for these. So all we need to do here is duplicating these nodes, Control D, and let's put it on the side here, and let's rename these edges to vertices and this particle as well. And these mall just to organize things nicely here. So here on these vertices, we need to change these object properties. So here we need to put these two vertices and of course the vertices do not need the cylinder they actually need a sphere and so we need to connect these to the mall as well here you still can't see them so maybe here on these we need to make it a little bit bigger so maybe 2.5 and also change the color here to something we can See, so now we have our vertices as well for these objects. And we can control D this model to have them both. So now we have both of these. And maybe for the model, we don't need these holes here. So all we need to do here is duplicate this mask. And for the second one, Let's actually delete these masks we added and then reassign these and then extrude property. And here we can assign the second one and it should fix the problem there. So now let's add a material node for these. So we can just use maybe the same one if we want for both of these models here. And so on these material, I want to choose here transparent and so on here we can have these look in here so we can work on how these should looks like and maybe here you can choose actually uh, random gradients and maybe just choose maybe this one just copy these and then paste it for the second one so maybe something like this, as you see. So and now we want to actually animate these uh, wireframes. So to do that, it's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to add a field node here. And just by adding these, you can see these cool effects. It just added here. So here we have these field node and we got here the sphere field. And here we have origin that we can actually animate and you can see what is doing to those wireframes. So I'm going to choose here, instead of sphere, I'm going to choose a radial grade. And just by adding that, you can see, now we can just animate this point here and you can see what's going on here. So basically here we have few properties. We have a fixed property, so maybe we just 
need to affect the color something like this and maybe here we need to put these to higher value here and you can see wherever there that prints you can see it's affecting here we are affecting the opacity as well so if we put that to 100 you can see actually the original color and the one that we're affecting here with these field and here we have the size of the radial grade so the more you can make it bigger and so on so this is here the idea so here i'm going to reset this and just like put here radial grade and make sure the opacity is set to zero and i'm going to animate this point here so maybe from there let's add a keyframe hit u and maybe after four seconds we want that to be on top right there we want to make sure these cover everything so maybe we're going to put these to 400 maybe just 300 the size and maybe this actual needs to be a little bit in the middle there okay so let's preview and see how this looks like So as you see, this look very cool here. And so on this material, maybe we can actually use some reflections material here to adjust these the way we want to things look. And you can see how this nice fade in here looks like. So I'm going to actually use emissive and just use this texture. It's actually just a green solid instead of using uh, the method I showed you on the field. So here I'm going to choose these emissive as a texture here on material. And I'm going to put these to maybe around, around maybe 80 or so. So here we got something like this, as you see. You can see how nice these fade in here. And of course, you have a few uh, properties to change the look and so on. So maybe we can put these 50% on both of these opacity here. It's going to change the look as you see, maybe this to 10 and so on. You get the idea what you can do here. And so now we can change these to any object. So basically we can choose here our model. So I'm going to choose here these brain. As here we have these high resolution one. Or you can use low resolution depending on how you want that. And so it's going to update there and doing the same thing for this one choose file and then assign the same objects and you can see it's pretty small so we need to go to mall property and then let's make these to higher value there so we can actually see it so the same thing for this one So as you see, we have the same looks applied to a different object. So as you see, maybe here we need to actually adjust these point here for these field. So maybe a little bit higher there. 
And if we want to add a secondary animation for these model, all we need to do is create a null here for these. And then here we can add animation for this one. So maybe just rotation there. So I'm going to have one rotation there. And for the wireframe, we're just going to assign the same null here. So inherit motion from the small control, the same one that we created. And it's going to have the same animation there. Let's preview and see how this looks like. And as you see, this looks pretty cool, but we got a problem here on the rotation. So basically to fix these uh, rotation problem, you can go and center here these mall for both and it should fix the problem. So the same for the other one here, just center it and it should fix it. And of course we can enable here on render settings, we can enable ambient inclusion and add some fog just to get some nice look there for these elements. Maybe something like this. And we have something very cool. Maybe adjust the lights here. Maybe this one, I'm going to put it on top here. So as you see, this is how this looks like and hope you get the idea and find these tutorial very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, just comment and I will do my best to be responsive. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon. And thank you for watching.